says the advertising department of this paper dictated his policy on news. I didn't act on my own. No, you haven't got the guts. So you went to Wharton. Run the story. I talked to Alice Garrison. Mr. Wharton came here. We phoned her. It was on her authority. She hasn't got the authority. Not until I'm out of here. Well, have you arranged for that, too? No, sir. You're slipping. Will you talk to Mr. Wharton? He's waiting right in here.
Hey, Willie, cheer up. I still love you. Yeah, I'll bet. Have I ever lied to you? Yeah, but don't stop. Hey, how about my blue pen? How about it? What's the matter, don't you know? I can't hear you. told you about me? What? Aren't you here because you heard about me? No. What? Well, um, I, I wanted pizza. I may never play again. Hey, you only want cars. What do you want for a buck? Name a song. First one's in the house. Uh, but, but, but not for me. If it's important, I'll call back. I feel better already. I, I'm sorry this place is in such a mess. I wasn't expecting company. Neither was I. Hey. I haven't any bourbon. Oh, uh, anything. Make yourself comfortable. I always do. I'm a lousy bartender. A minor flaw. Thanks. Cheers. Have you been playing at Tony's long? Seven months. Oh. How long have you been in Vegas? Too long. How long is that? Five years. Can you imagine if they outlawed gambling, what a ghost town this place would be? Mr. Q, you're, uh, you're supposed to ask how long I've been here. I don't care how long you've been here. Good for you. Not being particularly honest myself, I admire it in other people. Three years going on four, that's how long I've been here.
Like Vegas? Loathed, despised, and detested. Why do you stay here? Uh, well, I used to do a little uh, gambling, but I haven't touched the stuff in months. Satisfied all my creditors, started a bank account, which, when it reaches $5,000, will be my passport out of the cesspool. I hope you make it. Thank you. Why do you stay? Inertia. Mm. It's one of my favorite words. What do you do with yourself? For fun. Well, I read a bit. It's television, mostly. Old movies. I'm an addict. Do you like Bogart? If you want anything, just whistle. That's Lauren Bacall's line. What do you think I was doing? The thing I... I just, I just love about Bogey is he's so ugly. I've, I've never liked pretty men. Guess that rules me out. Huh? <laughs> it's the first time I heard you laugh. Well, I won't let it happen again. Very funny, very funny. Things are looking up. Don't tease me. I don't like being teased. I'm sorry. You must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Kiss me goosebumps. My singing? The song. I know. I know. I know. You're just so full of honesty. You can't help yourself, right? Well, do you think you're a good singer? I had a rotten day. Hmm. What's your excuse? I come from a broken home. Do you always make jokes? Only when I'm nervous. What are you nervous about? I don't know how to get you from here to the bedroom. <laughs> That is the lousiest approach I have ever heard. Thanks for the drink. Uh, just for the record, why'd you ask me back here? You appealed to me. Well, the feeling was more than mutual. Well, well what? Do I stay or do I go? I couldn't care less. That's a lie. Well, you just go through that door and see if I try and stop you. You wouldn't try to stop me, but that doesn't mean you don't care. What are you, a psychiatrist? I don't have to be a psychiatrist to know you're just as hard up as I am or lonely. I don't like that kind of talk. I, I thought you were all for honesty. Get out of here. But, uh, I don't wrestle. I don't coax. I, I, I can't. If you want to go to bed, we go. But if you don't, we don't. Carry me. What? Carry me into the bedroom. I like to be carried, please. Drop the bomb. I hope this is how it finds me. Oh, this is a treat to smoke in bed. One. 
Oh, I never do it alone. All those terrible stories you read about people falling asleep. When was the last time you smoked in bed? That's sneaky. Strike the question. Three months. What? It's been three months since I smoked in bed. Regular or king size? That's not funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm not sure I like you. I knew we had something in common. Stop it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said I'm sorry. You're crying. What are you crying for? I apologize. I apologize. I'm not sure what for, but I, I do. Thanks a lot. I, I can't stand crying. Really? again. Yeah. You don't remember me. Of course I remember you. Where was it? Where was what? I knew it. What are you talking about? Three summers ago, a party at Al Russo's. Who's Al Russo? We got I. You and I. That rhymes. Uh, we left the party and we wound up back at my place. I've never met you before in my life until last night. Congratulations. There's not many girls in this town remember every guy they've been to bed with. What's the matter? What kind of a person are you? The kind that likes to be remembered. I think you should just finish your coffee and get out of here. Why? Because I have a long antenna for bad news. No, I mean, why should I finish my coffee? You're very wise. Why, she said, unable to stifle her curiosity. Well, because I'd only break your heart, he said cavalierly. Oh, I've made some nuts in my time, but you take the cake. Made? I meant met. No, he said made. <laughs> <laughs> You're too much. Does that mean I can finish my coffee? Suit yourself. How long have we been married? Uh, seems like forever. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for the kids, I'd leave. Yep, me too. Uh, what do you say we abandon them? I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. I could. That I believe. Nelson Algren says you should never go to bed with anybody who's got more problems than you do. <laughs> do you ever touch ground? I have my moments. Well, uh, call me the next time you feel one coming on, okay? This is it, huh? This is it. The guy in the photograph, is he something special? Yes. It'd be in bad taste for me to ask anything else about him. Yeah. 
Where is he? In San Francisco with his wife. That's what you get for getting mixed up with a guy with beady eyes. I've always been a sucker for beady eyes. I'm having a little trouble leaving. I noticed. Well, how about uh, something simple like uh, I enjoyed last night? Try. I enjoyed last night. So did I. Uh, maybe we can do it again sometime? Maybe. Why don't you drop in the club tonight? We'll see. I'll keep a candle in the window. Do that. Ta-ta. the music start? Good question. That bum never showed up. Oh? Mm. And what shall I tell the bum when he shows up? Tell him I said... Chalk. The chocolate soldier forgot to come back? Or maybe the Germans captured him and they get to go home. Is that the way the game is played, Captain Flag? To a potato measure. Guys, I think you're trying to lose me. Mind if I go take a look around? Pretty rugged coming on that ravine. Who is it? You got a man in there? Can I come in? No! I'd like to apologize. What for? For standing you up. I don't know what you're talking about. Didn't you go to the place tonight? No! Then what are you mad about? Who's mad? All right, sister, open up this door or else. Or else what? Or else I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Go away! It's an enchanted evening. You may see a stranger. You may see a stranger. A house. You may see a stranger across a the crowded room. And somehow you know. You know me then. Hello there. Say what you have to say, then go. Don't want you, you don't want to know why I wasn't there? No. You know, it was your fault? My fault? What, what time did I leave here yesterday? I didn't notice. Noon. Temperature 89 degrees. I know the temperature was 89 because I passed the Sahara. Just the sign said temperature 89. You with me so far? A temperature 89. 90. The sign just changed. Bang! Just as I'm looking at the sign, one of my tires blows out. Oh, which side? I just love details. Left rear. Oh. Did I mention I was in a good mood yesterday? No. Well, I was. A very good mood, thanks to you. I'm touched. To demonstrate ordinarily, uh, a flat tire ruins my day. Not yesterday. I pulled into the gas station. The attendant's busy. He says it'll take an hour to change the tire. Do I get steamed up and blow my top? I do not. I can't. I'm in too good a mood. Thanks to me. Thanks to you. Now, what do I do for an hour? The Sahara's just up the street. I got a bartender friend there on the day shift. I'll drop in and say hello.
Vermin. Vermin? Don't flatter yourself. Uh, anyway, uh, he's not there, my bartender friend, so uh, I have a drink. Uh, and I have another drink. I stroll around the casino. I stop to observe at one of the crap tables. The table's cold, ice cold, and up steps Harold C. Carver. I know it's Harold C. Carver because he's got a tag on it. It says Harold C. Carver, Ridgeway Products, Inc. And I also know with sudden and absolute certainty that Harold's going to have a very hot hand. You didn't. Don't anticipate. Now I got $80. Harold craps out four times in a row. My 80 has gone. I got to have money to pay the gas station guy. So I walk over to the bank. I intend to write the, a withdrawal for $200. Something comes over me. I watch my hand write $2,000, which happens to be my total worth. I don't want to hear anymore. I return to the Sahara. Lost everything, and, and you come here to, to, to ask me for f five bucks so you can get your car back. I return to the Sahara. I won $6,000, which gives me a total of eight, and I'm leaving this crummy town tomorrow. I'd like to celebrate my last night here with you. Eight thousand? Eight thousand dollars. And I, I owe it all to you. <laughs> Why? How could I lose when I was in such a good mood? What's the matter? I'm so happy for you. Well. Feel up to doing the town? Huh? <laughs> yes, I do. I got a lot of guys I want to say goodbye to. We'll start at one end of the strip and we'll work our way back. Or whatever you want. Give us a kiss. <laughs> Why should I? Because I'm a winner and winners are irresistible. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, hold it, home. I got eight grand in my pocket. I got a beautiful girl. I'm about to thumb my nose at all those wise guys who said I'd never leave Vegas. This is a perfect moment. I'm letting it sink in so I remember it forever. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Uh, hear ye? Get away from that piano. Well, I got an announcement to make. So have I. You're fired. Oh, you come to give a little good news to a friend, and that's the kind of thanks you get. I'm not running a hobby shop. Uh, I'm leaving tomorrow. Mike, drinks for everybody <laughs> on me. Drinks for everybody. Nine, the points nine. Oh, 
What is there to say? Well, for openers, you could uh, you could uh, call me a, a fool, a uh, jackass, a moron, an idiot. Would that make you feel better? A little. All right, you're a fool, a moron, an idiot, a weakling, a child. Oh, uh, oh, hey, stick to the script. <laughs> you wanted to be punished. Well, I think I'm in the wrong apartment. So do I. <clears throat> so much for the small talk. Can you lend me 20 bucks? You lost it all? Every farthing. Every sou. How could you? Easy. Oh, I'm sick of your jokes. I used to do a little gambling. I haven't touched this stuff in months. Do I get my 20? Just yes or no. All I need is $5,000, and then I'll flee yeah, this I cesspool. I didn't come here for a lecture. Oh, do I detect anger? Eight grand. I had it right in my hand. Am I crazy or what? I can't tell you how sorry I am. Eight grand. Eight thousand dollars. Uh, would you like a drink? Got any hemlock? Uh, I'll see. Did you know that the suicide rate in Las Vegas is the highest per capita in the country? Come on. Relax. I don't have the guts. If I did, I wouldn't be here. All I needed was 5,000. And I had eight. But why do you need anything? Why can't you just leave here? She 
You gotta be in New York six months to get into 802 to get your car. Till you get it, you can only wor work one-nighters. But $5,000 for six months? Yeah, well, I'm a big tipper. Well, that, that, that's $200 a week. You know, I'm not in the mood for an economics lesson. Sorry. Did I get the 20? No. You'd only go to the nearest casino and blow it. Thanks for the use of the hall. Hey, you're welcome to spend the night. Is it pity or an indecent proposal? Pity. In that case, I accept. I'm not up to the other. Would you like a hot tub? Mm, I wouldn't. It'd relax you. I don't want to relax. I'll scrub your back. I don't want my back scrubbed. You take your clothes off and I'll run the tub. Bath will be ready. You'll be all right. How can I do it? It'll hurt less tomorrow. The next day is still less. The next day even more. You'll see. Come on. Come on. Come take your bath. Come on. <laughs> Make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. Is that what you're going to do? Start again at your beginnings? What else? How long will it take to save $5,000? Well, if I give up eating and drinking. If you can keep your head while all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, that's how it begins. It's Rudyard Kipling enumerating all the masculine virtues. Framed copy of that poem decorated the wall above my bed in Newark, New Jersey. That was my father's idea. I think he looked upon it as an antidote to my mother's permissive coddling. I think my old man lived in mortal fear I'd turn out queer. Is your father still alive? Why? I'd like to send him an affidavit that you're straight. Hmm. Thank you. Is your father alive? I wish I knew. What's that mean? He vanished when I was ten, never to be heard from again. That must have been a jolt. Well, it eventually killed my mother. You know something? What? I, I think my father came into the room the night he left. I, I think I woke up and found him sitting on my bed. He, he was crying. I asked him why. He didn't say anything. Just leaned down and kissed me. And patted my head until I went back to sleep. You ever been married? Well, how about you? Mm -hmm. 
Well, you prefer freedom and a career, huh? <laughs> to the contrary, my fondest wish is to get married and raise a family. <laughs> I think my mother's calling me. <laughs> Relax, I'm already spoken for. Beady eyes? How long has that been going on? Five years. What are you doing about it? I gave him an ultimatum. Never darken my door again, unless it's for keeps. What happened? I haven't seen him for three months. What's your next move? I wait. How long? Till he comes. You sure he will? He has a family. He has a big business, a social responsibility. He, he can't just get up and leave. It takes time. Sounds like a direct quote. Well, it's true. Oh, I'm convinced. What about you? Don't. Uh, you like that job? Dancing? Nope. Well, why do you keep on? I like to eat. I thought your boyfriend was loaded. My own way, and I always have. You just take a look in that closet. No furs. You you take a look in any of those drawers. No real jewelry. Five years, huh? Five years. A thought occurs. What is it? How do I fit into this uh, picture of eternal love and devotion? You don't. I, I'm sorry to be blunt, but I, I, I don't mislead you. Nothing to be sorry about. The fact is, I'm relieved. I thought you would be. To tell the truth, I was afraid you were falling for me. <laughs> Not a chance. That's what they all say, and then pow, head over heels. Well, I'll try to protect myself at all times. You do that, I'd hate to see you wind up like all the others. I'm willing to take my chances. Where does that leave us? Move in with me if you want to. Both of us free to pull out at any time, no questions asked. Both of us free to pull out at any time, no questions asked. 50 50 on household expenses? 50 50 on household expenses. What's the rent? 175 a month. You just got yourself a roommate. Hey, why do you want me to live here? So I can smoke in bed any time I want to. Seriously? Well, I, I've given him several ultimatums. Never had the guts to stick to any of them. Got too lonely. And always ended up asking him to come back. So with me for uh, immoral support, you hope to make it this time, huh? Sorry, I Best. Anytime I think you're weakening, I'll sing a few choruses of all or nothing at all. And and anytime you seem headed toward the crap table, I'll sing a couple of choruses of um, Come to Me, My Melancholy Baby. Uh -huh. Divided, united we conquer, divided we fall. In union there is strength. All or nothing at all. Come to me, my melancholy baby. Half a love never appeal to me. Cuddle up and don't be blue. If your heart never could yield to me. All your fears are foolish fancies. Oh, 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 oh. How old are you? When you're 97, I'll be 94. That won't matter, sir. Doesn't matter now.
should be starting back. Why can't we stay here forever? Why didn't you phone? I did phone. I've been phoning for two days. Thanks for bringing me home. Yeah, I, I uh, guess I better show off now. Nice meeting you. Take care of yourself. I will. I 
was so lonely. Please, now, you don't owe me any explanations. I, I don't know what I would have done if he hadn't come along. Fran, no explanations. A guy who doesn't call for six months deserves an unpleasant surprise. Terribly involved in so many things. Yes, I, I know. I was um, making plans for us. And... You know what I want you to do? Forget all this. The past six months, everything. Now I have to go to England. I want you to pack a bag and come with me. Same old deal? No. What's up? by given and granted a final and absolute divorce from defendant Thomas J. Lockwood. You did it. You really did it. Didn't I say I would? But, I, I mean, why now? Well, forgive me, I um, jumped to conclusion. Tickets. It was London, Paris, the Riviera, any place you like, for as long as you like. A honeymoon? Honeymoon. <laughs> but don't, don't they usually come out after weddings? Well, um, how about the chapel by the new frontier? I have us booked on an eight o'clock flight to New York. But I, it, it'll take me hours. One suitcase, essentials only. You mean just, just leave? Just like that? Everything, just like that. You get packing. Aye, aye, sir. No, no, on the double. Yes, sir. Essentials only? Essentials only. Uh, what do you consider essentials? Anything you can't duplicate in New York. This isn't really happening, 
안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Someone send it. They'll be careful. Guaranteed. What about the furniture? Well, forget it. Well, it's worth something. Well, leave it for what's his name. He wouldn't accept it. Why not? His pride wouldn't allow him to. <laughs> no talent, lots of pride. I didn't say no talent. I said average. Oh, well, pardon me. Well, what about the furniture? Well, I'll have someone dispose of it. Move on. Go, go, go. It's easier to telephone. I'll, I'll just be a minute. Is 
Joe there? I'll get him for you. Hey, Joe. It's for you. And Harriet speaking. Hello? Joe? Hi. Is that you? Uh, as far as I know. Friend. Uh, just a minute. I was thinking about a Sunday. Remember? Hey. You know what's going through my mind right now? I was thinking about a Sunday we spent together in Monterey. What? Remember? It was cold and rainy. We never left the room. Remember? Yes. Yes, what? You know, if I could relive any day of my life, any day, it would be that day, that Sunday. Oh, Joe. What's going on? You remember that Sunday? A friend. days like that Sunday. We're going to have so many beautiful, wonderful, wonderful days. Uh, mission accomplished? What's the matter? Something wrong? What is it? What did he say to upset you? I can't marry you. You what? I can't marry you. What are you talking about? His voice on the phone. I couldn't say goodbye. Well, you're out of your mind. Oh, you're telling me. Fran, five minutes ago, every... That was then. What do I do now? Well, it's very simple. You're coming with me. I can't. Fran, if I walk out now, it's for keeps. It's for keeps. Tom. Oh, well, keep it. I, I can't. You take care of yourself. You too.
the Eggman. Kind of funny on the phone. I got worried. I I'm all right. Where's himself? Go on. Well, what happened? Hmm? Do you really want to know? Only if you want to tell me. He, uh, he said he, he couldn't live without me, that he was, he was going to go back home and, and uh, start divorce proceedings immediately. Hmm. What'd you say? I, I, I said I'd believe it when he, he brought the de degree to me and, and put it in my hand. Congratulations for sticking to your guns. How long will it take him to get the divorce? I, I don't know. A couple of months, probably, huh? Probably. What did he say about me? Nothing. Well, it must have been obvious I was living here. Uh, it didn't seem to bother him. That's an insult. Sorry. <laughs> Seriously, uh, I'm relieved. I was afraid uh, I might have lost things up for you. Oh, re rest easy. Well... I guess I better start packing. Packing? Packing. What for? I'd hate to be the cause of any trouble. Look, go if you want to go, but spare me the noble crap. You saying I can stay? I I'm saying go if you want to go, S stay if you want to stay. Well, I'll have my money in another six or seven weeks. It'd be silly to get a place of my own for six or seven weeks, wouldn't it? You're, you're a big boy. I, I can't... You, you, you have to make your own decisions. Uh, well, same ground rules. Both of us free to come and go. No strings. Yes! God damn it! I'll stay. See, everything's gonna work out fine. Before you know it, you'll be Mrs. Thomas J. Lockwood. Good night, friend. 
Good night, Tony. Good night, Joe. He's got three people in a whole joint, and he, and he yells about taking five extra minutes. I thought that was all settled. The day I get out of here, I'm going to tell him what I really think of. It won't be long. have I got? Look, we made a deal. No word on how much you have until I hand you the whole $5,000. It was your idea. All I want is a clue, so if I'm going, I can make plans. I know I'm close. Well, am I close or not? Now, look. Now, you look. I didn't want to handle your money in the first place. You insisted. What are you getting so excited about? I'm not asking you to give me the money. All I want is some idea how close I am. For all I know, I got more than five grand, and you're not telling me because you don't want to see me go. Oh, $4,347. What are you getting so mad at? $4,347. That's even closer than I thought. A little luck, I could be out of here by Christmas. Tips pick up, it could be Thanksgiving. Now, wouldn't that be something to be thankful for? You know something? I think maybe you better put it in the bank. Been a lot of robberies lately. I wanted to put it in the bank in the first place, but you said no. You'll do it? You'll put it in the bank in your account? First thing in the morning. Eight hours to go till the bank opens. It's a long time. A lot could happen in that time. I might change my mind, ask for my money back. Did you give it to me? <laughs> I'm just testing, just testing. How about a little double solitaire? You're always pestering me to play. Pick your weapon. Huh? for the 4300 I'm kidding. I feel good tonight. I feel like I really got it licked. Wait, the next card you turn over 
will be a jack. Go ahead. Turn it over. <laughs> oh, what did I tell you? You said jack. Queen. You said jack. I was calling a dice like that all day today. I stood by one table at the Sands. I could have made a fortune if I'd been bad. You sort of. Well, I hope you know what you're talking about when you say the money's in a safe place. Anybody could walk in here. Well... You won. Was there any doubt about it? Don't play another? For what? You want to know something? I'm being too rigid. I, I ought to take a little of my money and just see what happens. If I got one hot hand, I could be out of here tomorrow. If I lose, there's no harm done. Well? Well, what? I want some of my money. No. Just a little. No. A couple of hundred. No. A hundred. No. Now look. Now you look. You're not getting one hundred and you're not getting one cent. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. I made a wise choice. I was just testing again. Bull. I was, and I'll prove it if you... If I wanted the money, you think I'd have to ask you for it. I'd just go in there and take it. I'd have to find it first, but would that be so difficult? Hey, where would you hide in a room that size? Knowing you and the way your mind works, I'll tell you right now where it is. I know where that key is. It's in one of those fancy mugs your grandmother gave you. I think it's this one. <laughs> Would you believe anybody could be so clumsy? If my curiosity wasn't so aroused, I think I'd give up. Clever little miss. Take it! I just wanted to know where it was. Take it! You know what happened if I take it? Take it! Take it!
have I no winner?
You lost? That's what I like about you, no beating around the bush. Everything? I'll give you three guesses. I'm sorry. Easy come, easy go. You'll be all right. Think of the other times. <laughs> will, will you please stop doing that? <coughs> oh, stop it. I'm sorry. I was at 500 bucks in 10 minutes. I, 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 I don't. I even. made a switch. Started betting against the dice. Some old lady with purple hair, a load of diamonds, and a face like death made five passes in a row. After each pass, she looked at me and cackled. You lost you. I had $200 left, bet it all on one roll. Lost. I'm not through. My cash was gone, but I was not without assets. My watch sold it to a washroom attendant for $10. Lost the ten. I, I, I don't want to hear anymore. No, I'm coming to the best part about my car. You sold the car? Uh, three hundred and twenty dollars. It's worth three times that. Not at four o'clock in the morning. What can you do without a car and 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 and, and the watch? Well, I'm not through. Do you know how much I paid for that watch? Let me finish. I I thought that watch meant something to you. It does. But then how could you just throw it away? I didn't throw it away. Voila. You just said you sold it for ten bucks. And I bought it back for twenty-five. Oh, I I I I don't understand. Sit down. Where where did you get Sit where down. did you get the the, the money? You ready? For what? I won. I'm a winner, a big winner. W what do you mean? I mean, I took the 320 I got for the car and I went to Caesar's Palace and I started on the hottest hand that you ever saw. You won? I murdered him. How much? A fortune. Where, where is it? See a more beautiful sight. How, how, how much is it? Twenty-two grand, give or take a hundred. I don't believe it. Just between you and me, needs a divide. Pass after pass, everything I bet came up. The crowd was five deep, all betting with me. They kept changing stick men, trying to slow the action. The crowd booed. It was like a dream. I kept thinking you were going to shake me and tell me to wake up. Pass after pass, and then something funny happened. I started feeling comfortable. I started to uh, make crazy bets, but the wilder I bet, the more I won. The more I won, the more uneasy I got, and finally, I <sighs> couldn't stand it anymore. I cashed in. They handed me $22,000. I never felt worse in my life. Well, why do you think? I'll give you a clue. I started to walk home. I became dizzy. I felt so faint I had to stop, so I sat on the curb. There was a little stream of water in the gutter. Ran right under my legs. I reached for my handkerchief. I pulled out a hundred dollar bill with it. I folded a hundred dollar bill into a little boat like when we were kids. 
I put it in the water, and I watched it float down the street till it came to a sewer and disappeared. I tried to feel guilty. I thought of all the hungry kids in the world. But I couldn't. The fact was that sailing that hundred dollar bill down the drain had cheered me up tremendously. A thought occurred. If throwing a hundred dollars away made me feel that good, how would I feel if I threw the whole twenty-two thousand away? And for an instant there, I was seriously tempted to do it. Ask me why. Why? Because I thought if I didn't get rid of that money, I had to leave you. And uh, the prospect of that made me very sad. So there I was, the lady of the dough. You take your choice. Attractive, loyal, generous, <laughs> sexy, and a good cook. Twenty-two thousand dollars. What do I do? And an, an inspiration. Why couldn't I have both? All I required was the courage to walk in that door and say, "I love you." I said I love you. <sighs> Sorry, folks. There seems to be a breakdown in the audio portion of our program. Get, get, go to bed. We'll, we'll talk in, in the morning. It is the morning. But look, you've been drinking. Voila. You, you're all keyed up. <sighs> T -t Tomorrow you 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 won't remember it. Give me a, a piece of thing. paper. I'll you, put you it in said, writing. Oh, please don't. Look, I'm making jokes because I'm scared, but I never been more serious in my life. What do you say? I don't want to talk about it. Why not? I just don't. Oh, gee, this is not going the way it's supposed to. When I say I love you, you're supposed to jump in my arms. <laughs> Look at that. Terribly confused. Please, can we g go to bed and, and talk about it later? Look, uh, I know it's it's a lot to spring on you. Then why do it? Because I love you. Oh, will you please stop saying that? Say it. Say what? I love you. Has it ever occurred to you that this great love you suddenly feel just might not be mutual? Great love is not sudden. I felt it for a long time, but never had the courage to acknowledge it before. Yeah. And if it isn't mutual, then you're the greatest actress in the world. You look beautiful this morning. What about our arrangement? No, no strings, no obligation. Expired. Well, not as far as I'm concerned. The next thing you'll be telling me is you're waiting for Mr. Thomas Lockwood to come riding up on his white Cadillac. Well, maybe I am. Get off of it. You, you, you think I, I, I'd settle for a, a, a piano player if I, if I could get someone like him? I do. Well, you just, you just give me the, the chance and we'll see. You had the chance. What do you mean? He asked you to marry him, and you turned him down for me. How did you know that? I didn't until just now, but I've always suspected that. That is the cruelest, the lousiest, dirtiest, filthiest trick that anyone has ever played on me. Let's go. Where? City Hall. Oh, for what? Because you can't get married without a license, even in Las Vegas. Married? Married. Yo, you're, you're bluffing. Test me. 
Mm-mm. Not like this. N not, uh, not, not on the spur of the moment. Name the time. Not Vegas. Name the place. I'm waiting. Well, I have to think about it. All right, for how long? Stop pushing. Stop stalling. You, you come in here, throw all this at me. Just, just who the hell do you think you are? You think you can get off the hook by starting a fight? Forget it. I'm in too good a mood. Some life. A piano player's wife. Quite a glorious mood. Do, do, do you know what's going to happen to you in New York? I'm in a transcendent The mood. same thing that happened to you here is going to happen to you a there. A mood of inexhaustible goodwill and patience. Oh, you stink. Okay, enough lovemaking. Why can't we just go on the way we have been going on? Why do we have to get married? All right, I didn't want to say it, but you forced me. I think I'm pregnant. That's your problem. Have a little pity, you know, you might find yourself in a similar predicament someday. I asked you a simple question, and I'd like a simple answer. Why can't we go on as we have been going on? Why do we have to get married? That is a good question. I think we should get married because we feel more and care more for each other than any two people I know, because it's too damn costly in time, money, and energy to maintain the delusion that there are no strings, no commitments between us, because to fully appreciate the joy at hand, we ought to have the guts to acknowledge it, because it'll save embarrassment when we register at hotels or stay overnight with friends who have inquisitive children and finally granted that marriage is a most faulty, pitiful, Pleasing institution. Right now it's the only game in town and we're going to play it. That was beautiful. I thought so. Marriage. The cure for everything. No, no such claim was intended. Getting married is going to change nothing. Uh, you sure? Positive. Then why are you afraid of it? I'm not. You're scared to death. I am not. You're terrified. Stop. What the hell are you afraid of? I don't know. Just say it. I don't know. Say it. If I marry you, you'll leave me. Uh, Scooby Dooby Doo. Please let me go to bed. Why would I be more apt to leave you if we were married? If if, if I don't go to bed, huh? now I'm going to be. Why Ill. would I be more apt to leave you if we were married? Because there'd be nothing to stay for. In other words, I only stay now because I don't have you completely. Can you guarantee you'll never leave me? Uh, no more than you could guarantee you'll never leave me. Well, then why get married? So that while we're together, we'll really be together. And so when we break up, it'll hurt just that much more. When? If. And yeah, that's the chance we have to take. Well, I'm not taking it. Month after month, week after week. Paper, Mr. Walker. Grady. Joe Grady. I've been slinking through these halls as the villain of apartment 2C. He's the one that lives with that sweet little dancer and refuses to make an honest woman of her. You know how guilty I felt? You're beginning to worry me. You really are. 
gonna blow this whole thing for both of us. All right. I am not gonna predict what your future will be if you don't marry me. As I gaze into my crystal ball, I see a lonely old woman whose only consolation is the fact that she never gave her heart completely. No husband ever deceived her. No child ever caused her pain. And as she nears the end of her life, she ponders a question. Which is worse? The heart abused or the heart unused? Possible you're really doing me the biggest favor of my life. I got $22,000. I'm free as a bird. I know three girls I can call in New York just for openers. I'd be a fool to trade all that for a prospect that's dubious at best, wouldn't I? Talk about your close calls. Once for the West Coast. I love you. God damn it. How do you feel? Scared. Be not afraid. The island is full of noises. Now, when I count three, you close your eyes. Why? Because we're going to memorize the details of this moment. So when we're old and inclined to rail against the world, we'll remember we had our innings. You ready? Yes. All right. One, two, three. 